Hello everyone. In today's class, we will learn compound microscope. Okay. So first I will draw a diagram, then I will explain. So this compound microscope basically consists of two lenses. Let me draw the diagram. We are keeping object here. This is F naught. That is focus of this objective lens. Here also this is F naught. Okay. This one is focus for this lens. That is F e. Focus of this eyepiece. And uh, here you are having optical center of this eyepiece, and this is optical center of this objective. Now, this object is placed here, so let's name it as a AB. Okay, this is an object placed now. See how image is getting formed. First, it will go like this parallel to the principal axis, and then it will go through the focus. And another ray is going through this optical center. And here you are getting image like this. Okay. Now 
No, for this. First, we will go through the optical center. Like this. And another will go somehow like this. And then it will go like this. Now these rays are meeting somewhere here like this. I'm indicating it with dotted lines. And here is I. This lens is near to the eye, that's why we are calling it as an eyepiece. And this lens is near to this object, that's why we are calling it as a objective. Understand? And now this image will get formed somewhere here like this. Now this angle is beta, okay, and this angle is alpha. This angle is beta and that angle is alpha. And this is the image, so that's therefore this is what a dash b dash a dash and b dash next one you are getting one more image here which is virtual image that's why this one also i am indicating with dotted lines only And this point is A double dash and this one is B triple dash. And this point is A double dash. Okay, this point is A double dash.
now I'm denoting some distances you can see here. From this optical center to this image, you are having P naught image distance for this objective lens. And this one from this optical center to this A dash B dash, you are having UE that is object distance for this eyepiece. Okay. And this final image, from here to here, which is what phi or image distance for this eyepiece which is equal to least distance of distinct vision at D. Okay. This is what diagram of compound microscopies. Now, let's see some theory points I'm writing here about this compound microscope. Consist of two convex lenses, right? How many? How many lenses it is consisting? Two. One is objective, another is eyepiece. Objective. Objective lens, it means what? Near to the object, near, near to the object, and has less focal length. and has small focal length. Next lens, this one you can see, this is what? Eyepiece, yes or not? So another lens it has, that is eyepiece. lens which is near to the eye and has large focal length. You can see in the diagram, from diagram you will easily identify, right? Okay, so next. Now one more time I am explaining the diagram. Listen carefully, it is very easy, but 
if you will see the diagram you will feel that it is little bit big diagram yes so what you have to do if you know the ray diagrams of convex lens first you keep object at beyond f not you can see here let me take one focus point uh, see here so this is objective lens which has small focal length and which is placed near to the object that's why we are calling it as objective lens this is eyepiece it has large focal length and it is placed near to the eyepiece that's why called uh, near to the eye that's why it is called as eyepiece now because of this object which is placed beyond f naught image will get formed somewhere here this is the image a dash b dash you can see here in the diagram now when these rays are meeting to the or getting incident on the eye we can say or reaching our eye this rays will appear to converge at this point and therefore here you are getting another image which is at d distance now this is for object distance for this eyepiece and this is image distance for this lens okay so let's see and this one one more i will denote in the diagram that is this object distance for this eyepiece this is what u not can i write it as a u not because object distance for which lens objective lens so therefore i am denoting here as u not clear <clears throat> yes because of this object you are getting image here and because of this this image will behave as object for this eyepiece yes and this is what the image which our eye will see which is at least distance of distinct feature clear understood shall i write that point okay i will add that point also you can see here i will write like this ab is object for objective lens and a dash b dash is its image okay next point next point you see now this a dash b dash is object for ips a dash b dash is object for ips and this one is what its image so here i am writing b double dash this point is also missing so e b double dash this is its image we can see a double dash b double dash is image right because when object is placed between focus and optical center image will be behind the object yes or not in lenses we have learned this so same mechanism is here is that clear understood okay up to this no doubt okay understood let's move ahead now what we have to find magnifying power yes or not what we have to find magnifying power so already we know definition of this magnifying power yes shall i write again so see now i am going to write the definition of this magnifying power so see here magnifying power i will write little below okay see here magnifying power is equal to
angle subtended by the final image at the eye angle subtended by final image at the eye when formed at near point divided by divided by divided by the angle subtended by the object at the eye when imagined imagine to be at near point np means what near point okay so in general language this mp is equal to direct we have that is tan of beta or just write beta by alpha you know already in simple microscope i told no so this is beta by alpha magnifying power is equal to beta by alpha so you can see in the diagram this is beta okay and this angle is alpha okay so magnifying power is equal to beta by alpha and we know we know tan beta is nearly equal to beta yes and tan alpha is nearly equal to alpha so therefore can I write like this magnifying power m is equal to tan of beta divided by tan of alpha is that clear yes what is the magnifying power m is equal to tan of beta divided by tan of alpha so now what what is our duty we should find out this tan alpha and tan beta so let's come back to the diagram so you see here which triangle i am taking so first we will denote this as equation number one let's assume that this is your equation number one okay now I want tan beta so let's come back to the diagram and see here which triangle i am taking i am taking this triangle a double dash b double dash and oe this is complete can you see which one this one you see here this complete triangle i am taking okay so let's take this triangle So now from triangle from triangle a double dash b double dash oe tan beta is equal to a double dash b double dash divided by oe into a double dash 
you see here yes this one opposite side is a double dash b double dash and this one is oe a double dash right understood okay so this is what you are tan beta but if we will see this oe a double dash is equal to what minus d therefore therefore can i write like this tan of beta is equal to a double dash b double dash divided by minus d a double dash b double dash divided by minus d and let's call this as equation number two okay what is this equation equation number two okay understood just see the diagram once you will understand it is very very easy although it looks big okay let's move ahead now similarly in triangle from triangle a double dash b triple dash oe let's go back what is the triangle c a double dash b triple dash oe this triangle because i want this alpha so what you will get a double dash b triple dash divided by oe into a double dash yes let's substitute that So what I'm getting tan of alpha is equal to a double dash a double dash b triple dash divided by oe into a double dash already we know oe a double dash is what value minus d and therefore can i write like this tan alpha is equal to a double dash d triple dash divided by minus d so call this equation number three okay what is this equation number three okay now we got this right now if we will take the ratio now from one equation one two and three so now from equation one two and three because m is equal to what we have formula tan beta by tan alpha tan beta by tan alpha so here what we are getting m is equal to because minus is coming here yes because minus h i by h naught we can say generally so here what is we are getting a double dash b double dash divided by d okay so this is minus d yes or not I will write it again. So this is minus. Now this one, tan beta value. What we are having? A double dash 
b double dash divided by minus t total divided by a b by minus d hai na a b by minus d. why this a double dash b triple dash i wrote as a a b because if you will see in the diagram see this a double dash and b triple dash is equal to a b yes or not can you see a double dash b triple dash is equal to a b understand that's why i have replaced here this okay since a double dash b triple dash is equal to a b keep it in mind so now this i am getting i am cancelling this part this and this will get cancelled so what is left now m is equal to minus a double dash b double dash divided by ab now let's multiply and divide by a dash b dash what i did multiplied and divided by and divided by a dash b dash okay so m is equal to minus a double dash b double dash ab into just multiply and divided by a dash b dash so what we are getting m is equal to this is what minus of magnification of i piece into this is what magnification of m not this is nothing but what object distance uh, height this uh, image distance by object distance image distance of uh, by object distance if we will separate this one more step i am doing here so that you will understand one minute now i divided so i am doing like this now m is equal to minus a double dash b double dash divided by a dash b dash which is equal to, uh, into just rearrangement into this a dash b dash divided by this ab let's go back to the diagram now see this is what object height this is what image height this is for again object for this and this is what its image right so therefore i am writing like this this is nothing but minus of this one is yours yummy that is magnification of i piece into this is magnification of object and therefore m is equal to this is the first formula and now let's substitute these values so therefore m is equal to minus m is what phi not by u not into phi by u or this is already i have written m here so i will write m only okay so i am writing like this m means magnification of i piece so here it is phi e by u e into phi not by u not but phi is equal to what t so i am just replacing this now here so i am rearranging so v not by u not into this v is d so minus d by u e this one i have done here okay like this i have rearranged in multiplication we can write like this, like this also so what is the final formula now so m is equal to m is equal to minus v not by u not into d by u e right so 
right? M is equal to what? Minus V naught by U naught into D by U. E. And call this as equation number four. Okay. Next. Now case one. Case one. Pen image formed at. This is a formula. Now case one you see. Pen image formed at least distance of distinct fission. Formed at least distance of distinct fission. LDD means what? Least distance of distinct fission. So let's use formula 1 by F e is equal to 1 by minus D because this is image form minus 1 by minus UV. So how you do you understand this or shall I do one more step? Wait, I will do this one more step. I will so that you'll understand. So now see here. We know lens formula 1 by F is equal to what? 1 by V minus 1 by U. Okay. Now for I piece 1 by F E is equal to V is what? Image distance. Where it is forming at least distance of distinct feature. That's why minus D. Minus. Object is what here? minus u e okay so therefore you are getting here if we will multiply by d first i will transfer this here so 1 by f e plus 1 by d and this minus and minus is going to be plus so 1 by u e so let's multiply by d so d by f e plus d by d is equal to d by u e okay so therefore, therefore, d by f e plus 1 is equal to d by u e. Okay. What we got? d by f e plus 1 is equal to d by u e. Now this d by v u e value I am substituting in equation 4. So let us assume that this is your equation number 5. We got d by u e value. So this is equation number 4. And substitute in equation 4 now here. By substituting in equation 4. You can see above only it is. So therefore magnification you are getting minus p naught by u naught into this is d plus f e plus 1 i am writing like this 1 plus d by f e i can write now 3 plus 4 is equal to 4 plus 3 so i am getting magnification like this what is that minus p naught by u naught 1 plus d by f e is that clear right Next, case two. Case two is what C. When image is formed at infinity, when image same like simple microscope is formed at infinity, then what is the case? If suppose we will substitute here 1 by f is equal to 1 by infinity minus 1 by minus u e. So this will become 0. So 1 by f e is equal to 1 by u e. And therefore you will get f e is equal to u e. Take a mirror formula. Here it is v will become infinity. So f e is equal to u e. So therefore if we will substitute here f e is equal to u e. Then what you will get here in this formula d by u e only no yes or not so d by u e plus one is equal to what this only right so therefore you are getting in this case magnification formula m is equal to minus minus 
minus P naught by U naught into D by Yuffie. Okay. This is what magnification you are getting in this case. One more note point you can take it as a here also and here also I will write one note point. In this case, if you want to find length of tube when image is formed at LDDV, then length of tube is what? Length of tube means what? Length of tube means distance between two lenses. Distance between two lenses. So which is equal to here? L is equal to P naught plus magnitude of this UV, only positive values you take. And if in this case, if you want length of tube, so in this case, if they are asking problem, find the length of tube, then L is equal to P naught plus F. Okay, like this. Understand? So this is what the compound microscope is. So note down all this. Yes, clearly this is only the biggest one answer you can say from ray optics, but very easy if you will understand. So let's stop here for today. Bye.